With the progress of technology, STEM education was designed to provide a cohesive learning paradigm based on real-world applications. While it was a good start to satisfy the needs of the 21st century, recently, arts have been added to the traditional STEM education to allow students to comprehend the concepts in a more practical and creative way. Our team at Michigan Technological University and the Great Explorations After School program of the BHK schools in Michigan's Barraga, Houghton, and Keweenaw counties put the STEAM education concept in practice with a project combining both robotics and theater. For this project, our team had educational and research goals. Our educational goals were to familiarize the children with novel technologies, get them interacting with social robots, and create a memorable, positive experience that might pique their interest in related sciences, computing, and theater. Our research goals were to investigate children's acceptance of social robots and the roles they allowed robots to take, particularly in group environments. Over the course of our nine-week program, we had children in an after-school group create two short plays that featured both the children and robots as actors. The participating children were eight students from the Dollar Bay School, ages five to seven. Seven robots were used in the program, including Darwin, Now, Robo Sapien, Playo, Zoomer, Romo, and BB-8. The program began with an introduction to robotics and our robots. The children created clay models of the robots for role-playing while brainstorming story ideas. They then began creating original plots and scripts for two plays. One group created a space story, while the other created a treasure hunt tale. The following week, the groups role-played their scripts and refined the stories. Using crafting supplies, we created props and scenery for the plays. While the robot parts had been assigned during the script writing process, the children's parts were assigned after the scripts had been finalized. We rehearsed lines and practiced on stage. At the end of the program, the children performed the plays for their families while the researchers controlled the robots from behind the curtains. Our results showed that our program facilitated communication, teamwork, and showed that four out of six students reported that they had made new friends. In both the pre- and post-questionnaires, children expressed interest in robotics with the Now and Zuma robots being the favorites. The two resulting plays had different styles. The treasure hunt story had more individual parts while the space play had more lines and chorus. The younger children had trouble remembering their parts when done individually while in chorus they were prompted with the other children. We plan to continue to work with the young students in our area and create novel ways to combine the arts and sciences. We also plan on teaching the children programming concepts through individual and team activities and integrating various art forms in our child-robot interaction learning program.